Okay, so how do you actually write a talk? Uh, I mean, I talk a lot of time to young people, also to business audiences, but how do you actually write a talk? What's one of the most creative ways of doing it? Well, every, everyone will tell you something slightly different, but for me, it's about a whiteboard or a blank piece of paper. Not about starting with lined paper, because I think lined paper is one of the worst things, because sometimes our brains don't work in a linear kind of way. So starting with a lined piece of paper, for me has always been unhelpful. So all of my notebooks are blank. So it might be a blank sheet of paper or a blank moleskin notebook or something. But I always have a blank one because it allows me to either make random notes and to just to see different ways and also to um, use different color pens and that kind of thing. So okay, first thing before you do, what's your core message? What is the one thing you want them to take away at the end of your talk? So your core message, whatever it happens to be, it needs to be right here in the middle. So write that down. And then just start thinking about the things that you've thought about right over the last few days maybe you've thought about it for a few days but you haven't written some ideas down so you think okay well I had the uh, okay I want that introduction there so that intro I thought about that uh, use different colors as well that's usually helpful uh, that intro and then I'll, um, there's that story there because stories are really important um, if you want to use some stats you can I guess not always the best thing to use but sometimes you want to stat to uh, back up something. So story, start and intro, uh, your core message here. Uh, maybe you want to think about a video or a, uh, a photograph. Oh, well these are different colour. Or maybe there's a photo that you've seen that you want to use on a slide. Maybe there's another activity or something. Whatever it happens to be, just add them on here as you go along and just keep them. Go away from it for a while. Um, think about it then come back to it you might add new things uh, maybe you want to leave it for a few days write it down sometimes I'll do this take a photograph of the whiteboard so I've got a record of it then I'll start again and go back and say okay what okay uh, and then once you've roughly got the idea so you've got lots of other things around then you'll start to go okay what needs to be first okay introductions obviously so we'll go introduction first and just start to number the things that you want to happen and then once you've numbered them you get a rough idea of the order and then if you want to do slides you don't always have to use slides I use quite a lot of them but I use big powerful slides rather than bullet points I'm kind of allergic to bullet points right so big powerful visual slides and then what you want to do is maybe you start to write them down so on a post-it note write down one slide so you've got an idea of that's one slide that's another slide and then you should have a um, eventually so you have 10 bits of paper 10 bits of information on 10 slides and once you've done that then that means that you can uh, start to pull together so don't go to PowerPoint first if you're using PowerPoint or Keynote do not go there first go there last and everything inside of you will be going oh I'll just go and add that but no no start on a piece of paper start on a whiteboard first and then if you want to use slides go there last because that will have taken shape and you'll be able to do it so a couple of slide tips as well as you do that make your slides big um, make the photograph bleed off the page use a photograph that's got some space in it so have a photograph that bleeds off the page but maybe there's a piece of sky or something in the photograph and you can actually just put the word one word two words so no bullet points if you can help it big slide with one or two words in bold in a, something good and remember fonts don't travel as well so if you use a fancy font on your computer if you're going to use someone else's computer that font might not be there so save it as an image or be careful about you using fonts all right so very simple plan it take some time be creative use color pens then and only then if you want to use slides go to slides via your post-it notes hope that's helpful uh, i hope your presentations are great